Today's a big day for Squad Club. We're hosting our first Strength Day for 2018. So we host these four times in a year and we're able to try and provide a lot more value and a lot more help for all our members here at Squat Club. What happens is we test out our squats, our bench press and our deadlifts. It's kind of in a way like a powerlifting meet but I guess at a lot more introduction level. So we're going to test out our squats, our bench press and deadlifts. For us, it's to be able to try and provide extra value and, uh, and giving them a lot more tips to help with them they can improve their training in between these strength days. So if they're getting stronger for these strength days, in their own training in between those three months, their weight and their volume is going to be progressing, which is going to be helping getting them to the result. This is why that we're hosting this, and uh, it's always just to give extra value. So it's always an exciting day. We've got a good turnout here again, and uh, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So that was a good day. We actually had a lot more people than we expected to be coming today. It was a really good turnout. We always get good turnouts when we put these events on. It's good fun. There was a lot of PBs. It was just a good morning. Now the gym has been closed. We're gonna go and train. And now I'm looking for my pre-workout. We're gonna be having some ghost. I'm looking for uh, a shaker. I can't find a shaker. We're in a gym and you can't find a, a shaker. I'm gonna... Take it by the scoop and then down it with a chaser. Oof. The reason why it's so sour is actually warheads. Let's go. So the, what we're going to start off with is going to be three sets of five of your dumbbell bench press and then we're going to go straight into a three sets of ten of the neutral grip pull up. With the neutral grip pull hops, you're gonna make sure that you're fully extending your arms. There's no partial movements with these ones. With the dumbbell press, you're gonna make sure that your elbows come down to a 45 degree, not so much more of a 90. That way then you're gonna take a lot less pressure off your shoulders. Oh, I'm out of breath. Choosing weight, what we usually go by is a scale. So you got an RPE scale, rate of perceived exertion. So the scale is going to determine how challenging the weight is going to be for you. So right now, I'm looking at an RPE of eight. Now an RPE of eight would mean that I have two reps left in me before I come to a fail. For me right now, an RPE eight is what I'm doing here with the dumbbell presses. And 10 reps of a neutral grip pull up is about an RPE added as well. Another example is if I was doing an RPE of 10, I'd be failing on the very last rep of my set. So and then if, I guess if we at RPE 8, we still got a little bit of room left in our tank for us to keep progressing with our, with our sets. We've got room to improve over time. If we kept going to an RPE of 10, and continually failing on our sets, we're not going to progress. We're going to start plateauing. And if you're failing on your first set, you're not going to really get the same amount of reps out 
for the next next couple of sets um, onwards after that. All right, our next super set, and now we're gonna go into B1 and B2, will be an overhead press, and then a single arm dumbbell row. And again, we're doing it at an RPE of eight, so really, we should be able to bang out 10 reps, but we're aiming for just the eight. Weight, especially for week one. That way then we have room to progress as we keep going throughout the weeks. Okay, let's go through a couple of tips now. Now your overhead press, I'm going to swing you over to the front of me. Your hand placement is going to be slightly just outside of your shoulders. Into this position here. If you're going too wide, you're not going to generate enough tightness. You're not going to have stability in the movement. So, keeping it just outside your shoulders. From there, unwrap that. Put that on, the, on top of the chest. Unwrap from your legs. So if you look down at my legs, I've got a slight bend from here. I'm going to straighten my legs, stand up, have unracked for my leg drive. Now in terms of the movement itself, when the bar is at the bottom, you're going to have your head tilted back a little bit. The idea is to keep the bar as close to the center of your body as possible. By us keeping our head tilted back a touch, it's going to allow us to keep the bar central throughout the body. As the bar travels over the head, we start to push our head through the hole, this position here. Another thing to keep an eye on, keeping your hips tucked under and bracing your core. A couple of tips over there. Now if we swing you back over to the single arm row, the single arm row is going to be all about angles. So right now with this, with this movement you want to be as horizontal as possible. I'm trying to aim for my elbow to kind of come up towards my pocket. Keeping my elbow in and I'm trying to avoid any sort of swinging throughout the hips. If you're going to be swinging throughout the hip, you won't be getting into the, into the lat here where you're trying to target. Keeping your body nice and horizontal, and then the elbow tucked in towards the back pocket. Fully lengthen the arm to fully stretch out the muscle, and then shorten it as, as short as you can. to C1 and C2, the next superset. We're gonna go into a dumbbell front raise, and we're gonna take two seconds to come down, and then we're gonna go into a dumbbell preacher curl as well. Make sure that there is no swinging, controlling the weight. One, two. One, two. with our arms fully extended into a hammer curl position in here to make sure that we can get the full range of motion. the most important range in this movement would be here and a lot of people miss out on that range and they try and stay in a strong in a strong range and they'll finish off about here so if they haven't fully extended the bicep you're gonna be able to lengthen the, the muscles to ensure that you are coming all the way down end up in a hammer position coming back up 
and looking for a slight twist externally to get a, a peak contraction. So we've got one more superset left. We're going to go into a cable tricep extension for 20 reps and we'll try and get some volume in there for the triceps and then we're going to go into 10 reps of the dumbbell hammer curl. One of the things that you should actually take care of in this movement would be your shoulders. So you'll see a lot of people and they'll, when they'll do the triceps and they'll push with their shoulders and they'll close everything in. And they're using a lot more shoulders than they are with the triceps. So they're able to try and keep your shoulders back, keep your elbows tucked in and hinge just from the elbow. with the hammer curls. picked a weight for, for 10 reps it should have been an RP of 8 I could probably only get one more rep in that with good quality so that's gonna to be too heavy for me so I'm gonna go down in weight and then focus on the form and then as that get, becomes getting stronger I'm gonna progress into a weight like this because I'm not gonna be able to sustain this weight for another two sets having good form leave your egos That's right. Last set of the day. Don't get sloppy. We're done. Upper body completed. Mark down all the weights. That way then I know how to progress for week two of this current program. That's gonna be it. Let's go, talk some business. All right, it's now time to start to talk about business. So, we're at home now and I'm gonna flip you around and you've got uh, our SQ Athlete stock in here, what we have remaining from, our, from the launch. So, I have, I have two shelves. I have one at home here with, a, with this stock and I also have another shelf at the gym which you would have seen in my previous video um, with other stock as well. So, this is mostly for our online orders and then we've got the other stock for the guys at the gym too. So. That's how that's going to be working or has been working currently. Got all our posting bags all up there. And then um, you've got down around this side, got a little workstation, we've got the guillotine and the, lab the printing label machine. Um, thank you cards as well. And then you've got a little bit more information, uh, future designs and orders and things like that on there as well. So um, that's how that's currently working. I'm just going to sit you down here. I was going to talk to you about the first week of sales and um, it's actually gone really, really well. Like I said in the last video, I didn't really have an expectation on how it was going to go, um, but we've actually done 13% of sales at the moment. I think that's been pretty good so far, especially just starting out with a minimum budget. I didn't have crazy money for marketing or anything like that. It's trying to, I guess it's been organic through my Instagram and through Squat Club itself. So I'm actually been really happy with that. We've, we're getting a lot of returning customers as well. They're buying one or two pieces. They're seeing how good the, the products are and then they're wanting to buy more. It's actually really, really good feedback because I know the products are really good and now that they're starting to you know, see the products, how good that they are too and 
high, how high the quality is. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. Feedback has been awesome. Everyone loves it, especially how it's fitting and how it actually feels because once you touch the, the material, it doesn't feel like a normal t-shirt that you know you would feel it at any other shop. So that's really cool. I guess that's separating myself from the rest of the market. Another thing that's gonna separate me from the rest of the market, which I can now finally announce, is that I've been working hard on this one too, is that we've now been able to reduce the price of our products. Currently right now, our products have been $35 a piece. I've worked hard and I've now been able to bring that down to $28 a piece now. I'm stoked to have that. Always wanted to have something that was extremely high in quality quality at a really, really affordable price. I'm really, really happy for that. If you haven't actually had a chance to be able to check it out, go and check it out on the website down below. Go and see how good the products are. You will not be disappointed, I can guarantee that like everyone else. And I guess another reason why I wanted to do it too was, I guess starting out, I want to be able to, I've never done anything, how do I explain? I've never, I never wanted to be like others. I've always wanted to do things differently and wanted to have my own spin on things and, and do something because I wanted to or have it my own way. I guess by undercutting the price of everyone else in the market, and I know that there is a lot of other um, brands on the market and it is very saturated with the, with the clothing line there. Um, so if I can price cut that and come down and have my quality of products a lot higher than the rest of them, I think that's gonna be my point of difference in the, uh, in the industry. So that's what I wanted to do and that's what I've done. And um, you know, my, my main objective, like I said, was to provide high quality products at a really, really affordable price. And, um, and I think about it as a consumer too. And what would I like to see, or what, what would I like to buy? And that's exactly what I would like to buy something that's high in quality, something that's really, really affordable, and something that's fast shipping. So we've been able to do that. I'm shipping out all the products um, the next day of the order. In terms of Squat Club, Squat Club's going really, really well. Um, right now, we're working hard on trying to provide even more and more value. We've got a high quality product at Squat Club, and now we're putting even more and more value on top of that. So there's a lot of works going into Squat Club. We are. We kick the hell out of everyone else in terms of value. You know, that's what I always wanted to do. And people are coming in, people are seeing that, people are seeing how genuine we are, how caring you know, everyone is in there. You know, there's no douchebags. You've got a lot of caring people, a lot of educated coaches in there too, providing a lot of value. So um, people are seeing that and it's not a commercial gym. Um, you know, it, it's a community in there. So yeah, it's, it's, such, it's such a great environment in there. And I always wanted to be about the experience. And um, you know, and we're delivering that too. So we're just constantly just working hard on that and trying not to be complacent because as soon as you start being complacent, everything starts to drop. We'll continue to keep working and working and working with that. YouTube winners. So I've picked out two YouTube winners and they're now gonna be in the comments down below. I don't know if you can actually message or anything through YouTube, but if you wanna shoot me a message on Instagram, send me your postal address and send me the piece of clothing that you would like me to send you and I'll send that out to you guys too. Uh, that's really it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the training too. If you've got any questions, pop them down below and I'll make sure that I can answer them to you. Please like the video and Please subscribe as well because I know there's a lot of people that are watching um, and haven't clicked on subscribe yet. But if you do sub hit subscribe, it does help the channel grow tremendously. So again, thanks very much for your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.